a warm welcome you all today we are going to discuss about looping counting and indexing the outcomes are after successful completion of the session the students could be able to explain the concept of looping counting and indexing in ACR H5 microprocessor uh, looping the programming technique used to instruct the microprocessor to repeat task is called looping this task is accomplished by using jump instruction classification of loops continuous loop and conditional loop Conti- continuous loop repeat a task continuously a continuous loop is set up by using the unconditional jump instruction a program with a continuous loop does not stop repeating the task until the system is reset conditional loop a conditional loop is set up by a traditional sorry conditional jump instructions these instructions check flags Z flag, C flag, Y flag, sorry, zero flag, carry flag, charity flag, stack flag, and repeat the task if the conditions are satisfied. These loops include counting and indexing. Conditional loop and counter. A yeah, counter is a typical application of the conditional loop. A yeah, microprocessor needs a yeah, counter flag to accomplish the loop task. Counter is set up by loading an appropriate count in a register. Counting is performed by either increment or decrement the counter. Loop is set up by the conditional jump instruction. End of counting is indicated by a flag. Indexing. Finding of referencing object which is sequential number. Data bytes are stored in memory location and those data bytes are referred to by their memory location. Example. Steps. to add 10 bytes of data stored in memory location starting with the location display the sum the microprocessor needs a counter to count 10 data bytes and an index or memory finder to locate where data bytes are stored to transfer data from memory location to the microprocessor to perform addition registers for temporary storage of partial answer a flag to indicate the completion of the stack to store the store or output the result the indexing flow chart start initialization section process section loop and the section if uh, loop is over then go to the uh, result section there is no then again go to the, the step 2 indexing the initialization section establishes the starting values of the loop counters for counting how many times loop is executed at the register for indexing which you find at the memory location and the other variables the actual data manipulations are close to the processing session this is the section which does work the work the loop control section updates counters indices of the next iteration the result section analyzes the source of the result thank you